Hey guys, what is going on here today and welcome back to a brand new series and video on my channel and today it is going to be a Reading career mode guys, we're going to be doing this throughout the next few days like probably twice, like once every two days we're going to upload one of these if it goes down well, we'll see how it goes this first episode, it might not happen again but we'll try and get it out, if it does smash 10 likes we'll carry it on so yeah guys, um, here we go, we're going to start with a Reading career mode, we're going to try and get into the BPL you can see here we've just got into it and we've just got some objectives there, a region around the 32 cup I look at the tier and I was just like, it's not actually all that bad we've got some 70 rated players and stuff for the championship but then I saw we got Pob Bregniak up front with some shitty strikers so I thought we've got a bit of budget to spend so we did buy some pretty good youngsters so basically I'm going to just go in here now and just sort the team out quickly of what I'll probably use when we've got no transfers in obviously we're going to buy some players too so yeah you'll see some of the players that we do buy um, are a little bit expensive in the bit. you'll see that though but um, yeah it's just an idea of getting used to like some of these youngsters because I didn't need that much to change the team around really but you can see in here now I just go into the age bit and just sell all the players that we're going to try and sell the players that are over 30 because I don't know I just have something where I hate players over 30 that I'm using so every single one that's 30 I can deal with like Federici there at 29 because he looks pretty good still 72 rated I think he's got the best rating in the actual team to be honest with you so yeah we come in here now there we come back there I just um, got some players into the shortlist and you can see these are the players that I'm going to be trying to get first we've got Tin Jedvard or something he looks like a pretty decent youngster I did check him out a little bit I've used him before this guy Borja Fernandez goes like a 78 rated player so I'll definitely try and pick him up this Theo Bon Bon Jonah, Bon Donda, and then this Enezu now looks like the Prof star that I will buy it no matter what price it takes to him. I try and get him Bolo, but it's unlikely. But yeah, I will pay anything for that guy, <laughs> Ushnal or everything. But I know he goes to like over an 80 rated. If I can get him for like under 5 mil, I'm happy with really. it. I know it's like most of my budget. They want 6.5 though. So I thought we'll start off low. We'll go in with like 500 and Pub Regniac, I think it was. Um, yeah, 500, that's like a million. See if they could take it, but obviously it's very unlikely. But I thought, why not try it? You never know if they're going to pick it up. And just like hopefully won it. But then we have here now this Mbolo again, just coming in here now. Didn't really bother at first. And I saw we wanted 4.8 for this guy. So I was just like, I'm going to put it in 800 and then put in um, the right back, um, Kelly, I think his name was. Um, yeah, so that makes it like 1.3 mil. Just hoping that accepts something like that, but it wasn't even really likely again. And this boy, Fernandez, under a million. I was like, well, happy with that. But I thought, you know, we'll start off low. We'll put in 425 and then uh, just that, see what they say. See if they have like a minimum they want for him or whatever, and then we'll work from there. Then this Theo Bong. Jonga Bongonga guy, <laughs> more at 2.24. So I did go really low with this guy, 200. And then um, I think it was, um, who was it? Let's have a look who we put in here. Probably Yakubu. Um, let's look, yep, Yakubu there. I think, I don't know, Knight, the centre back. I don't know why I put a centre back in there with him. But I just thought if they'd be interested in the players, we could try and work with something for cheaper. But yeah, it was um, going to be unlikely. But then we come back here now, it's an unacceptable offer for um, Enezuknal, <laughs> Unal or something. So I just went in there then with uh, 1.5 and I say so and see what they said. I was trying to play around, getting for as cheap as possible, but I don't think they'll take very much like for him. But then um, Mbolo, they said no, so I'll just put 1.3 in for Mbolo. I mean, I'm, I'm probably able to sign him. I'm not even gonna bother trying to sign him in a bit, but. Yeah, we're just going to put that in there anyway, guys. But yeah, I hope you do enjoy this career mode that we are doing. Um, but yeah, we can see here this Borja Fernandez, 1.3 to want it, so I thought we'll try 7.25, just to try and get an absolute bargain for him. But yeah, like I was saying, um, if you see a career mode, we actually reach 10 likes. There's not going to be any games being played in it, guys. All it's going to be is simply just me um, actually simming the game so you can see how we do. That'll be much easier than actually playing them. And we can get through it quicker and get into the Premier League and when it starts getting interesting. So yeah, you might um, if you want to see some games. Sometimes just say down below, and I might play some. But I think the career mode, like being a sim, is much more fun. Trying to get a good team going. There might only be like a couple of seasons of this, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, if you do enjoy it, obviously we'll keep it going for a while. But you can see now that guy unacceptable again. So I went five hundred thousand. Then we scrolled on here now. Final report on and then Zuk now and then Yakubu here. Um, yeah, someone was interested in Yakubu, so I put in 770000 from Yakubu to have him. Because that was over his value, they offered way under Hull City there, they were trying to get a bargain for him. So, I thought we'd put a bit higher, then accidentally here I clicked wrong. But yeah, this Erna Zuknal here, oh no, I can't say his name yet, I'll get used to it soon. <laughs> but yeah, we go along here now, it says here, FC Bayern are keen on signing Falcao as well, I don't know what they've won him for. But yeah, apparently they're going to be signing Falcao. Pab Mofo Begniak here is off the Wolves, um, we'll put him in for 600 grand and get rid of him hopefully. He's shit anyway, let's be honest, I don't want him. So, we'll get rid of him and they'll put Yakubu in for 630, trying to just get rid of him for a little bit more expensive. Um, than what he's actually worth I think but yeah and Bolo I've given up on there and this guy here we got him I think for 725,000 this Borja Fernandez 
what I did, we'll put squad rotation player just because I don't know what rating it'll be, hopefully like 66, 65, something like that I'm guessing, so I will put in a bit of a lower one just so um, we're definitely sure and we don't want to put him in like too much just to make sure um, that he does still like get played when he wants to be played because I don't want to overuse him or underuse him or anything like that so I thought that would be the best thing to do so I did actually do that but you can see now guys um yeah but this um this guy's getting like impossible to sign I was actually getting bored of like trying to sign him because it was so hard like for the I'm not paying loads for like a left back or whatever it was I think he was a left back something like that it's too expensive guys to actually pay something like that for one so in the end I think I just gave up so you'll see now though uh, first here that um actually um, what's going on here? Um, they were just skimming for a few days, and then you can see now. Yeah, I think this is uh, Yakubu. Yeah, yeah, he's off now. Yakubu, he's no longer a Reading player. He has signed in a Premier League team, so he's got, he's aged, but he's got into a better team. I don't know why anyone would want to buy him, but fair play to them if they're going to actually use him. I wish them the best of luck. But yeah, um, <laughs> now then, guys, into this next for here. Now, I'm just sorting my team out again with the new signing. I think it's Fernandez. There he is. Look, we're going to put him into the bench. I think we're going to put him on the team for now. But I think Norwood will replace him. I think Norwood is a much better option to actually use. So we'll probably go with him because of the five rating difference. But we'll try and obviously get him sorted out. We just need a left mid now as well. I don't know what I'm going to get there. But we do need someone in the left mid because that guy that we've got now is not very good, really. You need something better than that actually to use and be able to enjoy. We're going to try and pick up some lone players soon. You'll see. But yeah, sorry these lengthy videos. I don't know how long you want them. Another thing to comment down below. And do you want like a lots of like six minute short ones, or do you want like ten minutes? I might try and vary them like to around like eight minutes, seven minutes, thirty, something like that when we're simming the games. Just go through like a certain amount of games an episode or something, sort things out. Just depends on what's going on really. So yeah, we'll put in now 1.4 million. There we go. Um, and yeah, there we go. 1.4 mil. See if we can win him for that. But yeah, once again, it was not going to happen. As you'll see in a minute now, we skipped to about the 17th, I think. There we go. Thursday the 17th, Friday the 18th, something like that. Not acceptable. Pabregniak and Cuba have gone. Then it's, it said 4.8 mil, so I just went in. I went to 4 million pounds. I mean, that's not too bad for him. So I'll put that in there for him, 4 mil, and we'll see how that actually goes for him now. And we skip a couple of days to about Monday, I think. Um, here we go, Monday, yep, there we go, and look, he is now a Reading player. This guy's going to be special, guys. My expectations for this season is going to be mid-table, really. The next season, we were going to push for the Premier League, so I reckon this season, he's just getting used to it, and then next season, we are going to be fighting in for the Premier League, guys. That's the idea, like, getting into the Premier League, really, and then we'll see how it goes from there. But, yeah, um, this season is just getting used to it, I think. Just getting a team together and all that stuff, because... We don't know how well we're going to be able to perform with some of these, um, but yeah, we'll see about that, won't we? So, yeah, but now, guys, um, you can see here that we are just once again going through the things, like looking for players to buy, I think. We go for, I think, for lone players now, like I was saying, um, midfielders, yep, yeah, left midfield. Um, for lone, just see if there's anyone there. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to click BPL, I think. Um, which is what I do next. Here we go. Look, BPL guys, left mid, and you can see here Brandon Barker. I know this guy's got like a really good talent, so hope we had to pick him up for something like pretty cheap because he does look like a good talent, and I know he is from other career modes and whatever. I have used him before, so that should be one to try and pick up. He does look very talented, as usual. Um, but yeah, Redden have got quite a few good youngsters anyway. They're under 25 years old. Like I think they left. The centre back Hector, I think he's about 22 years old, which is very, very good. Obviously, they've got um, a lot for like 24 years old as well, which we're going to grow obviously, hopefully into like special players as well that are good enough to at least be in the bench of the Premier League team when we do. Then I saw Bella in here. I thought we'll try and pick him up on loan. It or oh, my idea was try to buy him first, and if not, we'll try and get him on loan. We'll see how that goes next episode. As we're approaching the end of this video, as you can see, guys. If you have got this far, make sure you comment down below. I right, to comment down below. Um, what should we comment down below? If you got this far, guys, comment down below. Um, comment Bellerin, just so I know you've actually got here. <laughs> I bet no one has, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, anyway. Um, it's going to be a long journey. It's, it's hard to talk for this long, actually, like, running out of things to say, really. But yeah, we just skip up to the Porto game. What a game that's going to be at home to Porto. Brandon Barker's recently joined, but I didn't want to buy him anyway. Just want to get him on loan. Put 10% bonus per goal. Hopefully, they'll sign them. And then um, we'll have Brandon Barker as a player. So I think the idea this is going to get loads of um, lone players in guys really just to make the team strong enough to actually challenge for um, maybe even the playoffs but we'll see about that. 
Um, now we go up here now to the Porto game. Hector Bellerin, 2.8 million. I was like, you know what, we'll go 1.8. If we can get, if we can get over 2.5, I'll pick him up. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, comment down below if you want to see more. And I'll be back again in a couple of days with the next episode. And peace.